في ساحة للعلم كنا نلتقي والحب والإخلاص زاد قلوبنا His father was Zubair ibn al-Awwam radiallahu anhu, one of the ten who was guaranteed Jannah by the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, لِكُلِّ نَبِينْ حَوَارِيٌ وَإِنَّ حَوَارِيَ Zubair. That every Prophet has a disciple. And my disciple is Zubair. In another narration, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, that Zubair and Talha's house will be next to my house in Jannah. He was when he embraced Islam at the age of 15, and when his uncles found out that he had embraced Islam, what they did is that they tied him upside down and they lit a fire underneath him until he thought that he was going to die out of suffocation. And then they brought him down and then they said, are you ready to renounce your religion? And he said, never. He said, never. Because this experience had made him stronger. Because he understood that if this was the impact of just the smoke of this dunya, then what will be the impact of the fire of Jahannam? And he said, never will I denounce his religion. And then they tied him up again, and they hung him up upside down, and they lit a fire underneath him, and they did this again and again, until their resolve broke, but his resolve didn't break. From his virtues is that he was awwal or rajilin, sallah sayfu lillah, the first man in the history of Islam to draw his blood, to draw his sword upon occasion, the rumor spread in Makkah that the Mushrikeen had killed the Prophet ﷺ and Zubair who was just a child at that time, he drew his sword and he went into the streets of Makkah and one of the first people he bumped into was the Prophet ﷺ and the Prophet ﷺ said, Zubair, where are you going? And he said, Oh Messenger of Allah, I heard that the Mushrikeen had killed you. And the Prophet ﷺ said, What would you have done if this was true? And he said, I swear by Allah, I had taken an oath by Allah that I would make the streets of Makkah flow with the blood of the Mushrikeen. And the Prophet ﷺ smiled and he prayed for him and he prayed for his sword. And the impact that the dua of the Prophet ﷺ was such that the Sahaba mentioned that there were only two men who could hold swords in both hands and fight equally well with both hands. One was Sayyidullah Khalid bin Walid and the other was Abdullah ibn Zubair uh, The other one was Zubair ibn al-Awwam anhu. And then came the Battle of Badr and how Zubair ibn al-Awwam anhu showed his skills. The entire, entire cavalry on the Muslims on the Battle of Badr were two men. Miqdad and Zubair ibn al-Awwam. Only two men. And the narrations mention that Zubair ibn al-Awwam, he was striking the Mishrikeen left and right, left and right. And so beloved to Allah was the sacrifice of Zubair ibn al-Awwam on the battle of Badr. That this was the first battle in which the angels descended to help the Muslims. And the narration mentioned that on that day, Zubair ibn al-Awwam radiallahu anhu, he had a yellow turban on. And when the angels descended on the battle of Badr, they were all wearing yellow turbans. Every single one of them were wearing yellow turban because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loved the sacrifice of Zubair ibn al-Awwam and then came the battle of Uhud and he subhanallah he shone again again the entire entire cavalry of the Muslims were two men Miqdad and Zubair anhu, and one of the greatest warriors from the Arabs stood up from the side of the Mushrikeen and he said who is ready to fight me and Zubair anhu said oh messenger of Allah allow me to fight him and he went out and Safiya radiallahu anha his mother said oh messenger of Allah were you sending him for this is imminent death nobody comes back alive fighting this man and the Prophet sallallahu said no inshallah he will be victorious and the narration mentioned that Zubair radiallahu anhu went out and the mushrik was standing sitting on his horse and Zubair radiallahu anhu was standing on the floor and he managed to jump upon the horse and he defeated this mushrik and then he brought this horse back to the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam upon that occasion said لِكُلِّ نَبِينَ حُوَارِيُّنْ وَإِنَّ حُوَارِيَ Zubair that every prophet has a disciple and my disciple is Zubair ibn al-Awwam radiallahu anhu and battle after battle he spent with the Prophet ﷺ, he fought with the Prophet ﷺ, until a person of Basra explains and depicts the sacrifices of Zubair ibn Awam anhu. He mentions that upon occasion I was traveling with Zubair ibn Awam and he had a wet dream and he wanted to have a bath and he said, can you cover me? 
can you cover my body so I can have a bath? And he said, I put a cloth around him and my eyes accidentally fell upon his body. And he said, I swear by Allah, I have never seen a body like his body. For it was as though a person had writ upon, written upon his body with wounds. His entire body was full of wounds. And I asked him after he finished his bath, he said, my eyes accidentally fell upon your body. He said, I said, where did you attain all these wounds from? And he said, I swear by Allah, each and every one of these wounds was attained fighting alongside the Prophet ﷺ in the path of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala.